Good afternoon, this is Simon Browning from See Through Web, and this is the second part of the uh, drop down demonstration creating drop downs for the Red Tide demo, like you might see on the Sir Edmund Hillary website. Uh, and we have just placed in the new and updated typo script, replacing or actually just commenting out the original stuff that was created for us by the Templa Voila wizard. And so this is a script that I've used uh, previously. And you can find examples of it uh, if you look, look uh, well, Google it really. Uh, typo3wizard.com is a great site, or just you can even go to typo3.org and, and look up the exact commands. But anyway, we've placed this in here. Now let's save it and clear the cache and see what happens to the website. So if I refresh this now, there we go. We've got stuff popping out all over the place, but that's okay because we haven't styled it yet. If I just open up Firebug here and look at the code, we should be able to see that uh, there. So we've got our main menu and inside our first LI we have the submenu which is for the sub items. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want to do. And so now it's just a matter of doing the appropriate styling to make the submenus appear properly. Um, and like I mentioned in the first video, our styling is based on the suckerfish dropdowns, which you can Google and find out how to do it. Or if you have your own way, that's great too. But now it's strictly a CSS issue. It's got nothing to do with Typo 3 anymore. Typo 3 is throwing out the pages that we want. So let me just uh, throw in some styling. And uh, I'll just do it through the file list here. Normally I'd do it through Dreamweaver or something, but let's edit my style sheet. And uh, I'm going to get rid of what's there now for the main menu. And I'm going to just copy in some code that I've already got prepared. And let's save that now. Uh, let's clear the cache to be safe. Move it out of the way. And if I refresh this now, Oh, there we go. It's looking closer. And if I hover over these items, well, there you go. You can see the drop downs appearing. Oh, we even got a pop to the side there. I probably don't want that page, actually. So now um, it's just a matter of tweak continuing to tweak those styles. I actually just copied that code off another site. Uh, so it was close, but not quite the cigar. So there you go. That's how you can create a uh, drop down menu in Typo 3 using CSS. Um, if I went too fast or you have questions, feel free to post comments either on uh, the YouTube channel or on our site. Um, this is webdevelopers.thedemo.ca. Thank you very much.